Good morning. I want to look back a little bit at what was mentioned yesterday about faith alone not being new. That um, the economy of salvation in the Old Testament was by faith alone. In this same context, we see this. Now, the righteousness of God was revealed in the Old Testament. That God was just and that God acted justly was clear in the Old Testament. So when we read Romans 3, 21, but now the righteousness of God has been manifested apart from the law, although the law and the prophets bear witness to it. It's saying that the character of God was put on display in Jesus and the righteousness that's afforded us there at the cross. But the law and the prophets did talk about the righteousness of God. They did attest to it. Of course, this set up a standard. Now, how would that standard be met? Was it met by the law? Or was it met by a faithful response to God? This is the center point of Paul's argument, especially as it relates to Jews. So in chapter 4, Paul points out, verse 1, What then shall we say was gained by Abraham, our forefather, according to the flesh? For if Abraham was justified by works, he has something to boast about, but not before God. For what does the scripture say? Abraham believed God and it was counted to him as righteousness. It's going back to Genesis 15 and the Abrahamic covenant that began the Jewish nation. And he's saying, look, this all started because your father Abraham believed. And it was his faith that was credited as righteousness. The text goes on in verse 4. Now to the one who works, his wages are not counted as a gift but as his due. And to the one who believe, uh, so the one who does not work but believes in him who justifies the ungodly, his faith is counted as righteousness. So the, the third observation about justification by faith is, yes, while it upends the old moralistic system of the law and it upended the Roman system and it upends our moralisms today, it's not new, and it wasn't new in the sense in the New Testament. You were always saved by faith alone. And Paul uses Abraham to point that out. There's continuity even in the construct of salvation in the scriptures. That's our reflection today. May the Lord bless you.